Whoa, I'm a little late to the party here. Everyone, this is TurboCop. We're up to another TurboCop caster. Today we've got something real special for you. This is a live uh, recording right now. Uh, we're doing a uh, NA All-Star game for uh, Steel Series here, set up by Gibrix mainly. And uh, yeah, off to already a good start here. These teams uh, don't really know each other. There are a lot of uh, Gibrex players in Steel here as they did set it up for them. But I would say overall it's a fairly reasonable uh, representation here and Red Team's already off to a good start. Have, have the point down, uh, up about 20 seconds and yeah, already we're off to a decent size here. And, uh, let's get over to someone here. Dust Sook uh, is the is the med for today. And let's see if I can uh, get everyone's name up. Okay, so who do we got? So over on the red side we have Size Zero. As our scout, he is dead for the moment. No, there he is, Size Zero. Rage is our soldier. He plays for Team Gibrix as well. Uh, Size Zero plays for all Team All is Dust. And what is this Pyro doing with the crazy Dog Twenty One with a? Logistinator, well, his uh, buddy Uncle over here gonna stop and recharge. Anyway, uh, Uncle uh, plays for all his dust as well. Uh, the Whip is the uh, is the demo man. He uh, plays for uh, he, who does he play for? He plays for the ha House Hippos. I should have guessed that since he has the hippo tag in his name. The heavy is Meat Stack. He plays for. Uh, Ooh, nice weather for ducks. That's a reference to a music video, which is also a reference to a uh, what is that guy's name? Uh, makes silly videos about TF2. Uh, made uh, Fuckville and all that stuff. What is that guy's name? Remix. Yeah, it's a remix reference right there. Uh, Ender is the or no, sorry, Gabriel is the Gibrex uh, engineer. He will be uh, building a. He's got a really defensive sentry gun right now. Uh, Dust Snook is the medic. Uh, Lost his life. Coming back out with this demo man here was uh, Epic sitting on the sitting on the uh, Epic battlements here. Ha! Shooting for a demo man, missing his shot. I think he did not get that uh, against the uh, enemy demo. And uh, finally, round things off, we got Spongy also for Team Hippo up here on the top here, uh, shooting for a med. Oh, gets shot out. God bless Mew. What a great shot there. So let's go over this list here. Uh, Mew plays for a complete global saturation. That's the med. Uh, we've got Princess Note. Uh, just note really is the scout also from Gibrix. Kizzle is also from Team Hippo. Uh, Dog21 is uh, from the Team Mad Freedom. Uh, only one representing Mad Freedom. Uh, Oddish uh, is from Team Global Saturation as well. Uh, Jinji uh, for, uh, playing for All is Dust. Uh, is, there, uh, is there heavy? The engineer is uh, Ender, uh, also known as Ender, playing for With Bacon. We've seen him before on the channel uh, with a video right before this one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Ark is, we went over Mew, Ark is the sniper, uh, hailing from all this dust as well. And uh, Deadshot, uh, the only player uh, from uh, the, the team uh, Disney Movie Princesses. He's this, uh, I, I saw him shooting a while back and he got like a crazy like 6k uh, envy shot. Dropping for the heavy there, but really good reaction times out of Meat Stack there to stop that. Uncle uh, trying to defend out here. They're kind of a... Uh... Oops, I pushed a button. Oh, I don't want any of those. Okay, we can put them, o we can put them away. Rotating over now, red team rotating over. Ooh, gets out uh, the sniper. You know, he got a uh, Jinji fry. Oh, he got the heavy. There's no heavy for a little minute here while the spongy uh, coming around the flank side gets an otter shot with the help of the sniper, and now he's going straight for the med, gets the medic, and that should be enough for a uh, push here. Uh, Core is sitting in the back, ready to go. The whip already sticks on the point. Heavy vanguarding forward a little bit here. Soldier on the right side, he might get sniped out, but I think, yeah, he's getting pushed back. Uh, good soldier rockets for sure, and they restack the point for a pretty dominating performance here for the first round for Red Team. Uh, Dust Sook, Snook has an uber ready to go. He could pop it at 8 seconds and feel pretty confident in himself, I'm sure. Uh, maybe even like 5 seconds because they're worried about uh, cap times here. And basically spend the rest of the, the round uh, invulnerable. God bless Mew though, sitting pretty uh, pretty low, not going to have that uber. Instead they pop quite uh, early here, but they will defend off the point. Soldier tried to bomb and not able to get it. First round goes to uh, Red Team USSR, so Team USSR versus Team USA, and we shall see who gets the better of the demo man rollouts this time. So round two, one up for Red Team, and away we go. Demo goes for it. Oh, and instead Blue Demo decides to go around the backside along with his uh, Blue Scout here. Uh, Spike spots them out, but I, oh, he is able to just get his DR popped off. Pyro is forced back here while Uncle is forced forward. Almost able to clean out that soldier. Uh, Kizzle, unfortunately, going too far ahead. Meat stack cleans up on him. And the scout coming around the backside. Wow, he's real far back. He's from that uh, pocket pistol, which I think is banned for next season. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll have to recheck. But it would not surprise me if it was banned. And oh my goodness, is that something. 
I've never seen that before. Is this a new version of Lakeside? Is this Lakeside Final? That's uh, weird. I've never seen that little platform before. Um, but it used to be that there used to be little rocks there. I'm not sure what happened to them. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. I like that new addition, but I, I don't, I've never recognized that before. Uh, Spongy just gonna go for a snipes. Gets a uh, body shotted and gets cleaned out by the pyro. Power knows he's here. Oh, and reflect even reflects a rocket into his face. That's kind of amusing. Uncle falling back here and oh, I'm missing a whole Uber during this engagement. It looks like it kind of wasn't a very good Uber for them. Uh, much better red Uber going forward and oh, did they lose their spy, their med. Uh, no, Dust sucks. Nook's still alive even though the spy was behind them. Instead, they get God bless you. So. Uber advantage, but really not a lot else going uh, red team's favor at the moment. They do have the point, but there's a much better si mini sentry gun position right now, actually, for uh, for blue team. Ender uh, gonna push forward here. Has a back has a back sentry uh, mini sentry to watch the back area, and uh, the demo man here uh, able to get a really good uh, aggressive spam position here. Spy in the back. Oh, he gets princess. Good job by Spongy getting the getting princess. It's not gonna. Well, it is going to stop the point. It's going to buy them a few more seconds here. It's just the uh, it's the last push that they needed to get that going. So Uncle moving forward with the pyro. Spongy looking around. Art, God bless you. Gingy Flindy moving, uh, keeping his uh, keeping his lines uh, secure. So eight on eight. This soldier, oh, he blew himself up by accident. But now it's a seven on seven. Missing your heavy though. Heavy real real key for uh, pushing onto the point because you really need that those, uh, that DPS that he gives you. Uh, shout out to Acclaim. Get out and raise your dongers all around. Oh, that's a cool pyro and Uncle survives. Oh my goodness, there's a crits. Crits going forward here. I totally forgot to call it out last time. I saw it. I saw it on camera. Didn't call it. And they clean out the med and they get the demo man. No, God bless me. You actually got out alive. Uh, Nice, uh, forced the pop on the uh, on the Uber and just not not able to get anything going because it was a crits versus an Uber, but it was a nice try. And again, I think Red Team is just gonna kind of like push out here. I think they're they're quite a little bit more coordinated. Their Ubers have certainly been they've been forced they've been popped into not not uh, vice versa. So Blue Team, I think, playing the harder role uh, this game so far. They do need to get the point though. If they don't get a point soon. They're just not gonna be sitting good. Shout out to his boy Capsize, uh, I'll be shouting out anyone on the FCV as it is per my policy to do so during these live games, it's pretty fun. Yup, he says, he's seconds. right there. Why would you shout out someone who's in the chat with you? I'm not quite sure why you would. Ark, uh, they could get a, pack, uh, a pick right here, but instead they're moving really far forward. Again, Oddish is so far forward, he does get cleaned out by some stick spam uh, after taking tons of heavy hits, and God bless Mew, they had the point, I'm really surprised they didn't I'm really, really surprised that they didn't just. Oh, let's just take the point and like try and win. Instead, they really overextended and trying to take, try to take everything. Dust uh, will just pop. Self congratulatory on the point here. No one can bomb in, and they do get the second point here. So, easy second win here for the USSR team red. And let's just watch the rollout for Hippo this time. Oh, I love you, Turbo. I love you, Falcon. We are still lovers. Even though we did not get to cast tonight. No placement medals for steel shoutouts. <laughs> so Thwip gets forward, but he backs off immediately, not willing to get overextended. And it's probably good he didn't, because there's a Kizzle right there. Heavy watches him though. 360 no scope air drum through the through the air, not able to do enough for him. The whip throwing down the throwing down the bathhouse spam. There's a lot of people in bathhouse right now actually. And Jinji getting around the backside. Gets rage. Gold coming around. Dust is ready. Oddish, where are you? Oh, that's weird. Uh, okay. I thought someone was uh, lagging out there, maybe? We can check the pings real quick. No. Well, with hit, though, is sitting at 100, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's okay. Kizzle going forward. No one's actually captured the point yet. Uh, despite having this death grip on, uh, on the bathhouse, blue team hasn't yet managed to resolve it yet. They could rotate around, but they're not going to. Instead, uh, the med will be safe back here. Pyro, oh, they finally come forward. Dust pops immediately afterwards. Uh, they, they lose meat stack, though, which could uh, turn out to be a turning point, but instead, they're just going to block up the choke point. Oh, Demo is getting some good spam down, though. He can easily pop it and kill this uh, scout. Dead runs away. Uh, Pyro uh, gets some uh, pressure on the sniper, and instead, they rotate around, finally able to, to clutch out this point here uh, with a little bit of a push from both sides there. Good job, blue team. They're going to... They're really not making it, Red Team's really not making it easy for them, but they did lose their med. That's a real big issue, and Red Team's now able to rotate around. There's a soldier in the way. Oh, he wants the shot. Not able to get a defense from the sentry gun coming through for them, and they're not, they didn't actually, actually get the point here. So 
So Dust will be sitting at a really big uber advantage, but it's a, sl a small and small engagement right now. Uh, scouts could go in, sni soldiers could bomb in, snipers could just make an easy pick. Up, oh, soldier and scouts, like, crazy trade there. It's like a four on seven right now. No one still has the point though. This is like the longest, uh, the longest it's been. <laughs> So they do get it, blue, blue team does get it uh, with some uh, last minute people there. Engineer does uh, not save his gun, but he does find a, a spy. Actually, spy's not dead. Spy, dead shot's still running around. On the flip side, Spongy's not in position quite yet. And in the sniper battle front, Ardent has a bead on Epic, but Epic I don't think knows. No, Epic knows. They did actually get Ardent. So, Yu's okay. Oh, here comes an Uber. Oh, pipe right on the face from you. 9, nine HP. He looks like, yeah, he's... Uh, Waiting for that sandwich. Jinji is like, I don't got no sandwich for you. Why? He has a sandwich, right? He has. Yeah. Oh, he does have a sandwich. Okay. Yeah, he does have a sandwich. I'm pretty sure. And uh, wow, actually, they get a lot of cleanup on the on the back end, uh, especially Ender getting a few getting a few picks on the uh, with the wrangle. And he gets sniped. Where did he get sniped from? I don't even know. Anyway, Ark uh, trying to make a shot here, looking for the heavy. For the demo, demo popped his head, but we'll be moving back. The whole core staging push here. Oh, uh, heavy. Soldier tries to go for it again. And we've got a huge flanking heavy here. Rage can come around. Oop. Screwed up his jump, really wants it. Uh, actually, it's their own heavy here, so it's a 7 on 8. They've got a 6 on 8. Soldier bombs out as well. Both the soldiers not able to make much of their bomb. And demo in. Put some spam down. He hits the pyro for a decent amount. Oh, they come from the flank side with the pyro, and they're actually down in numbers during this uber engagement. They're going with the scout, and looks like this pyro is lagging out. Yeah, this pyro looks pretty dead, and the whip is at 400 uh, ping, so we'll see what they can do about this. They do cap recapture the point, though. This is the, the important thing. They're even Stevens. Uh, Dust is only like 20% behind in uber. Uh, so when it comes to like the state of the game, they're not looking so bad. They just have no like really decent position yet. The spy might be able to change it around for them. He's looking for that heavy. Heavy knows he's here. Can you see the can you see the water beads? He does see the water beads. Oh, he decloaked anyway. Oh, he steals the health back and then ditches back in the water. He is just delaying. Oh, I think they found him now. Uh, oh, that's too much fun. I can't watch it forever though. And they actually blue team actually took a lot of picks. It's actually five on nine. They're gonna overrun this med pretty soon. Oh, the soldier forces a pop, but they could overrun this med. I'm really surprised they're not this time. I mean, I think I, cr I criticized them for the reverse last time, but Dust Snook does, uh, Snook does get out, so Snook surviving. Epic, ready to go. Coming back out here. That's actually Rage. Kizzle sitting on top, he could make a, a big play here. Sees a sniper and instead just gives away his position. He'd drop down and find a med though if he knew where the med was. There he is. Oh, he gets a he gets a pyro play. No, pyro reflects. And they actually instead is a his a counterpart rage here gets the med. So dust uh, forced out forced out a pop by a spy, which is uh, not the worst thing in the world. But they're only like they're like one second behind right now, so they can come back and re-get this. They're spending a lot of time in this engineer. They do finally get him. Uh, Dimmon rotating around. Looking for some picks here. Uh, Ark takes out Epic, so Ark uh, really gonna try and defend out this uh, this point right here. Lakeside is definitely a very sniper heavy map for sure. As far as uh, cough maps go, I would say it's one of the heaviest. Uh, although dealing with uh, dealing with that sniper that way, Uncle not willing to take out this teleporter. I wonder if he saw it or not. Hmm. Not willing to go for it. Uncle in the water, and who else is on the point? I can't seem to find anyone on the point at the moment. I think it was Thwip and uh, it was Rage for sure. Jumping away, wanting to get this heavy instead of engaging on the pyro. Probably a good choice there. Quench the thirst, Gatorade. Shoutouts, shoutouts. Uh, Shoutout to delays. There was a bit of a delay starting this game, but it wasn't like the worst I'd ever seen. About like 10 or 15 minutes. That's pretty standard. It's hard to get everyone coordinated. And Rage just did a bunch of damage there. Look at all those people in the red. He does get cleaned out by snipes, and that heavy was going to clean them out. So now bathhouse on bathhouse engagement. Arc actually taken out by Rage here. No, not Rage, someone... Who's the Snipes? Epic. Yeah, by Epic. They have the same tag, though. So, Sniper advantage going this way, but it looks like it's not going to be enough here. Uh, Pyro is here, taking the point. Oh, Sniper's just blocking the point. 
pretty amusing. 20, 20 seconds behind now, they don't have the point. Um, God, bless, God bless, oh, Sook just used his whole uber, I totally missed it. Oh, it was a crits creek. He got God bless as well, I totally missed it. So, hey, making them pay the price for being in bathhouse, and this is like my number one rule about, uh, about Viaduct, which, not Viaduct, about uh, Lakeside, which is that if you are holding bathhouse, you can't get critted on. If you get critted on in bathhouse, you lose the game. Just happens. Just, you lose. It's just what happens when you hold a hold in, uh, bathhouse and they have a crit screen. Spencer pick move up. Gabe has his, like, obsession with the Spencer pick. It's pretty funny. This spy is, like, messing with everyone. He's still pretending to be a, to be a, uh, to be a character. You just get on the point and start capping. It's only three seconds remaining. It's a uh, five on seven, so this engineer will she'll get the go ahead to go. Spy makes a nice demo man pick here, which will open up the point, uh, the the assault a little bit here. It's still a low numbers on low number situation. Only four people up. Only one of them willing to contest the point right now. The scout who really can't do it all on his own. Uh, blue team gets back up. They do get the point back, and now it's a forty second. Uh, defense here there keep in mind this is coming back from like a three minute loss uh, earlier but they didn't even get the point last round so quite a good comeback here for the, for the blue team so far demo's getting some good spam too clean out on the heavy oh crits creek away one two they do get god bless mew again it's just so hard to wow and then the then the, the wraparound cleans up that is a wipe look at that wipe look at that wipe that sentry gun is so hard to deal with right here, but it doesn't matter because it's a still a wipe. It's a 0-3 and good half. So the way this is going to work is it's a uh, Lakeside, Gully Wash, Viaduct uh, if you need an ace match. So we're going to Gully Wash next round. Uh, I'm going to cut right here. Uh, we'll see you all for the second round here, and we'll see if the uh, blue team gets any better uh, situation. Then. All right, here we go, round two, and it looks like Oddish is getting replaced out with Potato of Beifong, which uh, we saw for Gibrex. Uh, so we got two Gibrex versus three Gibrex players. Yeah, this is kind of a, a Gibrex uh, free for all kind of fun time here, but it's okay. It looks like we got a med. They're going. Both teams actually going aggressive side here. Oh, with their with their cores. Uh, and, uh, engineers, of course, have such guns on both sides. The scout is trying to get up to the mid. The soldier is trying to bomb out. He, he didn't find the scout, though. He found the uh, engineer. And instead, we've got uh, some crazy uh, Dog 21 running with that Phlogisonator. Not actually making too many plays happen with it, though. But it did create an opening uh, for the blue team to go forward. And the spy does get whiffed. So no more, uh, no more demo man for a while for uh, for red team. In fact, they're kind of like they need to escape. They're getting pincered by a demo and a, and a heavy. Oh my goodness, this med is real hurt. He has an uber though, and with his uncle he could be okay, but the spy's on the back, so I tried to give him a uh, heck right now. Ooh, that was not an ambi shot. That was an ambi shot. For It uh, doesn't matter, pop comes out, but that was a good trying of force there. So uh, Let's see, we've got ubers and ubers and ubers uh, going forward, and it looks like blue team wins out on the uber that time. So blue team actually uh, coming back behind here. This is again... Uh, no, te no team switch has been going on, so red team from last uh, round is red team from this round. No crazy team switching, so it keeps everything nice and easy for me to keep up with. Gingy Fla Flindy, I thought could have gone for, for a shot for a shot there, but I guess not. We got uh, Epic looking for that med shot. Oh, he had it. Instead he gets taken out by Ark. Spy on the top side, they take out Sayo as well, so here comes the push for the last the last point already it's already been pretty it's been pretty quick here now remember it's a 30 minute time limit here so 28 minutes remaining i believe they're gonna play up to four or three i don't require remember what a half is uh in gully wash time besides uh timeout of course because that timeouts happen 99 percent of the time i think going forward here oh getting cleaned out though he's trying to escape away and uh dead shot also just uh slinking out of there spongy coming around uh the exact same area trying to invade instead God bless Mew, ready to go, and so is Sook. So who is going to pop first here? In fact, let's just get a spam view uh, uh, port here. So it looks like everyone's up top. Sayo gets cleaned out by the Pyro. Oh my goodness, that rhymes. And instead we get a stab and a snipe. That's pretty rough on the back on the back rock area. That'll be moving forward here. But we got a Pyro. Oh, there's a sentry gun back here. Good job. Not able to get anything for sure. Well, they actually end up popping on the, in the front here, so... They will get the second point back. They will stabilize. The question is, will they get the last point? Scout back there. Oh, okay, that's Sayo. I thought it was... Okay, <laughs> getting my team screwed up for a second here. Kizzle, uh, moving forward here. NG with him. Jump up, yeah. Let's see if he tries to take the top point or not. He is on front. Oh, almost got that pyro with a direct shot there. Instead getting thrown off because that is <laughs> a scorch shot. Oh no, he just jumped at the wrong time, the inopportune time there. 
note moving around looking for that uh looking for that garage play. Spongy was right there though. Sayo also uh, on the on the garage play. So it'll be a soldier uh it'll be a soldier scout versus a scout spy. I think we'd uh favor the soldier scout. But Spongy moves out of the way. Sai ready to drop down. Oh he runs right into an engineer who got sniped. Epic looking for uh those epic shots. Ah, nice. Again with the nice shots. Ark is, uh, just... All these snipers are making big plays today. Real big plays. Getting cleaned up. Yeah, that, that's an interesting sentry spot. Gabriel making it happen for him. And both teams Ubered. Both teams are down in Uber. 10% advantage here for blue team. Looks like they may be able to push around. Oh, they might get that pyro. And if they do get the pyro, it means that they can turn around the corner, uh, with very little, uh... Impunity. There's no demo. Uh, there's no demo stick uh, trap here yet. No, you should put them on the on the sides, man. They're way better on the sides. Heavy going forward here. He gets a little bit spammed out, and whip hippo. Whip will be super overhealed here. Uh, so will potato baypong. So we'll see what happens. Soldier. Ooh, dying out to an engineer. So engineer holding off the the front here. And now it's eight on eight. No soldiers for either team. Is the name of the game. And he's really going to come down to who wants to turn around this corner first. Oh, they lose a sentry gun over on the flank side. And the NG Scout are playing. I'm not sure what their spy is doing. He's trying something crazy here, but one of these teams is going to have to go eventually. Both teams must know by this point that Ubers are up and ready for both teams, so... We'll see. Okay, Pyro comes forward. They pop a little bit early here for the Pyro play. Oh, it gets saved by the, by the, uh, by the Uber. And this heavy is kind of in a bad spot, but they're gonna have way better Uber time here. And no team willing to push out and play the mess, so looks like no team's really gonna win out. Actually, Demo's gonna get some good spam. This med is like, wait, oh, he was on the other side. This med will escape, so it's now a five on six situation. Heavy both up, uh, both up for both teams. So where's the the blue heavy? Oh, no, the blue heavy's down, and they do clean out Pyro and NG and Medic, and that'll be a practical wipe. That was a good. That was a good catch there. They, I don't think they expect them to come around the corner so quickly, and they did. Spy on the top here, on the back side. Okay. Spy's way back in position. Um, so he could go for a pick if he needed to, but red team coming back out, showing their medal. So 24 minutes remaining. And that beggar's not quite doing it for him quite yet. He's going all the way to the top. I think that's a fair play. Although he could get sniped either way. Spy! Playing the aggressor here, uh, trying to get the point. Surprised they don't put a soldier on it. Who else is down there? And it looks like they will get the point. Oh, heavy! He went all the way up, and now he did, he had to drop all the way back down. Rage will be. Oh, gets sniped out. Never mind about that. Arc looking for some picks, and he's getting them too. It's a five on nine situation now. Red team certainly doesn't want to go. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Is he starting to force him to pop his sticks? I don't quite get what plan there was. That was a waste of an Uber. That's unfortunate. And yeah. Lobby holds successful. I mean, that's one way to do it. Force them to pop at a bad time. That must have been a misclick. I, I, I don't... I, I refuse to believe that it was anything but... Blue team immediately takes back this spot. And this Pyro wants him. He does get him and he gets his overheal too. So, he can move forward here. They will get the second point. The question is, will he get the third point? Uh, Epic looking for a shot. So it's going to get found by Princess Note here. He got the hit. Running that fan. Anything else crazy? No. Just the fan with the Boston Bastard. It's the three room blade technically, but it's Boston Bastard. Control point is being captured. And they get the point back. Oh almost, not not quite yet. It's three times, but I don't think Dust gets cleaned out, or Snook gets cleaned out, so I'm not sure anyone wants to go on him. It wouldn't be in Red's uh, advantage uh, advantage to. I think they lost a Pyro. No, he's back in the game. Let's look at the scores for a little bit here. We got medics near the top, but surprisingly Arc actually at the top of his team while Epic uh, second on his. So both snipers and meds being real key players so far, getting lots of picks, getting lots of heals. It's always an important thing to do. Dog21 gets uh, found out by some spam. Uncle trying to push through the other side while, while the meds, while the pyro's down. God bless Mew will stay alive, of course. And we'll see if Rage can make a, a jump happen. There's a sentry in the way, which is the big problem right now. And Dust actually has about a 30% advantage. Oh, that's a spy. What's that spy gonna do? Span uh, Sponge not able to get anything going there. 
Or maybe it's spongy. It could be spongy, but I want to say sponge. Heavy goes forward. He takes a, a lot of uh, hits, but he actually gets perfect to help back. And this is a crit creek coming forward here. Oh, gets cleaned up by Enderson. Mini Sentry of all things, but now they have the laser guns. And they only get a spy. Real surprising. Good back out there. Of course, Snook goes down for it. Soldier able to clean up on the backside, and I wonder if they can push. They should try pushing off of this. They're not moving yet. You, oh, there's a pyro down here. And there's a sentry on the flank side as well, but that was a good job by Ender. To, real good job by Ender to keep that up. Ugh. Epic looking for those uh, those shots. Not going to find it, though. And okay, they're moving forward. They didn't even have to use an Uber for it. They just moved slower. I wonder if you... He must be worried about a soldier bombing forward, but he's actually not in position, so... They're gonna go below. Oh, Princess Note's gonna take the hit for them. Oh, forces a pop! Good, good force here by the demo man. So, Whip will be backing out. We have a sentry gun coming in position, but it gets uh, cleaned out. If they can keep a sentry gun down, it'd be really good for them. Uh, and Engineer's gonna try and sneak around the backside while a heavy stuffs. Engineer on the point! Who's responding? Okay, now they're responding. And she was there, and it's very, very, very close now. Uh, you just sneak around the backside, oftentimes. Soldier trying to make the make this, the medic play happen, but I think the scouts got the, got this covered. Along with this pyro here, they do clean him out, but it took him quite a while, so he was able to get a lot of good damage out there. Well, what says Kizzle? Not happy with that play, I'm pretty sure. Where's the engineer? Gabriel, back on his minis, as you can see. Yeah, that's it. He's got some tough mittens. It has a has a unusual effect, but lucky for you, I turned those off. Or unlucky if you're not a fan. Spy was in the back there; they should ran right into him. Really unfortunate for Deadshot. And this uh this point's going back down, so I think they're gonna be okay for now. Oh, the shoot push with the Uber is almost here. They're gonna go below. They're spotted though. Scout's gonna come. He's not coming. This is real bad for them. He gets the pyro. Pyro moves forward. The heavy's doing uh, good damage. The pyro just pushes him back while the heavy gets on the point. Ubers are here though, uh, better Uber times for Red Team, uh, they will be able to stuff this and they're all back here. Engineer doing some damage, doing some huge damage, gets the med, and now the uh, the Heavy should get the cleanup, so... I have, Man, if Dustin, if Snook didn't have that Uber there, the game was over, but they did, and so they now might be able to push this back out. 19 minutes remaining on the clock here, and this has been a, a decent back and forth so far. Uh, Red's defended twice now though, like it's been close two times to them, so... They can't do this much longer. Scout's moving forward to get the point, and Soldier Kizzle is just happy to play with the sniper for now. He's got a great time for a, for like a bombardment there, and he does do some decent damage, but not doesn't get any kill that he wants. He's locking down the sniper. Well, he was locking down the sniper, and that was kind of the big benefit he was getting there. Arc looking for picks. Backs out. Heavy uh, meat stack. Get around the flank side. See someone, but he's only at half health. He really needs to get some overheals. They have, a, they have a, they have a charge. They should push this aggressively. Pushing aggressively when you have Uber advantage is like a really big key thing you need to be able to do uh, on like a like a CP map like this. It's not as vital on a cough map because you can kind of dry push a lot of the time, but a CP map like this where you have advantage, uh, it's like now all gone. So fully charged. Both teams have Uber again. Pyro able to get the other Pyro on fire, and we got a Flodge play here. This is weird. Oh, an, an early pop. Early pop coming forward here. Heavy spots out the immediate counter pop here, but I think they're good. This Heavy's going to be out, and there, here comes the devastation on that med, and that med gets cleaned out easy comboed. Uh, and no med, no demo. Um, spy in the back, though. Spy in the back. Oh, they spot him. Totally spot him ahead of time. I believe it was the Sniper that did that, uh, made that call, and... Yeah, that should be it. Uh, Pyro comes forward on the on the flodge play, but he's literally going to use it to escape, which is not what you want to use it for. He actually gets uh, he trades with the soldier, so this will be a mid cap for them here. Yeah, early pop, really early pop by blue team, to be honest. So you getting a little uh, trigger happy here and getting caught out again, unfortunately. So that's going to be a two medic uh, death advantage here. Death Snook's going to have like a super uber advantage by the time Muse back up. Uh, the trick right now though is that they just don't, they're a little bit spread. They're just trying to regroup right now and, and be able to push into second safely. So this demo right here could easily get cleaned out by the scout. He runs back for his, uh, for his uh, security blanket, aka the med and choke points. And they will, let, they will give them time to get, get set back up, but Snook can go again with Uber and I think, I think they should.
take it with Uber. Keep pushing down. Be safe. You've got, you know, a full half of a match left to go. Uh, all they have to do is win one, and they can win it all. This little switched off to a uh, direct hit here. No backpack or anything. I believe he's on the uh, the jumpers. Yeah, he's on the gunboats. The scout, Sayo, promises to be annoying. Are both of them running fan? That's really funny. I'm not sure why you would run fan for both of them. Let's see a fan engagement. That scout was behind them for some crazy reason. And even though there's a sentry gun above, he's still doing reasonably well. I think they trade. No, Sayo is still alive. How is Sayo still alive? This is nuts. Is he running a, a pretty boy pistol? Might be helping him out for sure, but... Yeah, you can't play my game, says Princess Note. <laughs> and they get the point. They're running back, though. They should run forward. Like, I don't know. They just wiped them, so... A little bit of coordination streak here. I think they could be on the point already. Uh, they could at least get this sentry gun to make sure it doesn't go up for a few seconds. Uh, but instead, they're all moving out to, to last now. Mm, Dust has about a 50% uber advantage here, so definitely a big, big chance to make a, an uber play without the enemy team having it. They can come all the way back around. Instead, Soldier is shooting for, the, for that sentry gun at the moment. Ark gets a shot on the bottom. Might find Epic as well. Let me back off. Ark not able to find the heavy, backs out too quickly. Good good heads up play by the heavy. Doesn't want to push his luck. And Rage, just trying happy to spam out the sentry gun for now. Gets the one reflect, but not the second one. Dog Dog 21 should have had it. It's okay though. And now, now we're running uh now we're what is this thing called? The, I rarely see it. The brass beast. I don't really see the brass beast run that often. I think this is okay. This is an okay thing to do, and uh, defending class. Just let us win so we can play Viaduct. <laughs> it could be a 2-0 right here, we'll see. No team ready to push quite yet. Um, both teams have Uber. See, again, Uber advantage wasted. Um, it's not unfortunate. You really need to like try and make the action happen when you're the aggressor. And uh, they take se uh, 7 on 8. Uh, over in blue side. Oh, they got a 7 on 7. That, uh... Sticky Chap works out, and now they push forward. Oh, blown forward here into the worst position, although, oh, he does link back up, and a, oh, it's a quick fix play. It could be enough to just stifle him down. I mean, gets the Engineer, his med should be dead. It's a two times, four times, swooping on the, on the on the point, and there you go. That uh, really just all happened because Thwip was just like thrown in the wrong position there. So let's see a uh, Potato Beifong uh, roll out here. Potato. It's gonna go the long way. You can get his health back. I think he's a. Uh, this uh, saves other people health for you. But I'm not sure this is quite so good. Anyway, yes, park the bus. That is the plan, I am sure. Actually, it's an aggressive red demo rollout. And uh, they completely stuck off uh, Beifong from everyone else. They're gonna get Beifong for free. And uh, we now see a. We see a vaccinator play. This is, uh, this is strange. Maybe he's just trying to have fun, or maybe this is like his idea of like how you can quickly hold get the midpoint and then just quickly hold it because it's definitely the easiest to hold the midpoint compared to other points well maybe last is easier but midpoint certainly feels like it takes the longest to push in Our point. is the blue team on the wrong side of the map it kind of looks like it i think are they giving up this feels like a give up because why would you well, that's a pretty big mistake Pretty, pretty huge mistake there, and that could just make it a 2-0 and really lock up this game with 12 minutes remaining. They're ready to push in at last already, so things are just not, not where they want to be. I want to see this Vaxander play, though. We're on the, uh, we're on the explosive. Switching off to the bullets. Heavy can't do anything. We can't do something, so he's not going to. Switch back to explosives. Oh, he's not able to save it because it's a sniper. But anyway, there's some crazy stuff going on in the back, and that was the fastest second point cap ever, or second uh, round ever. So there's steamrolled that time. GR wrecking them. Red team going down. This could just be the easiest 2-0 in existence here for an all-star match. We'll, we'll see, though. All-star match is not known for being the most uh, competitive games ever, but we'll see what happens. Scott actually rolls out. Whoa, what, what's blue team doing? Where are you, blue team? Blue team just defending. Okay. Parking the bus, I think they're done. Wow, such sportsmanship. 
Butch cast. Very fun. This is mean. This is so mean! I can't believe they, uh, they're all like, oh, we want you to cast this game. I'm like, sure, you know, it should be fun. And now they're throwing. Ah, oh, steel players. Parking the bus. They don't even have all level three yet. This is, uh, there's no, there's no reason for that. No reason not to have a level three by this point. Shame on you, Ender. But Mew gets taken out again by some crazy rage play. That probably shouldn't have happened. Oh, who did he hit? Oh, he got the medic, but it turned out not to matter. His vaccinator play is amusing though. Oh, get stabbed! Scout on the backside, Sayo trying to cap. Sook trying to play out. Sayo's still there though. Oh, can he get him? He hits him with the bleed effect, but I'm not sure the bleed effect actually does full damage. No, I don't think that's full damage. Four deeps per click. It should be like six or seven or something, right? And through the game. This is kind of cool. I like this spot where you just uh, defend via the heavy uh, turret in the top. It's hard to spot for sure. They'll probably not be spotted here. Until they push in. We'll see. Snook should just go. What is he worried about? He's got his vaccinator. Gonna, gonna be fine. Of course, uh, Crit's Creek actually crushes Vaccinator like super hard. It's like you have no it's like you have no charge at all. It's heavy moving forward here. I wonder if it's gonna I wanna see this crit I wanna see this Vaxi play. Uncle actually times out here, so no pyro for for a minute. I'm not sure it's gonna matter. Oh, not if he gets stabbed. That sucks. That really sucks. Oh well. <laughs> They're still up 2 0, so things are sitting good for them right now. Deadshot looking for uh, a dead shot, and he does get it. Gets out Epic here. So actually, Blue Team could take the advantage. Oh, there's a Crit's Creek going down. Crit's Creek on the flog. Oh, yeah. Kind of doing this a little bit slowly, stopping for the teleporter. That's okay. You should probably stop for the teleporter. They're going to push back out. They're going to try and get mid. Now, I wonder if uh, teams are going to like start playing for real. Oh, my goodness. More flog play. He's going to sit right on the cart. Oh, he's just going to go for it. Not really gonna be able to kill the heavy because the heavy has way better deeps. But this uh this uh Jinji Linji keeping the soldier in the air and away from his med. Oh yeah. <laughs> Meat stack has a face to say about that one. They're all gonna they're gonna back mid. Let's see if uh they are missing their player. We might we might see a, a pause come out or something. Or you might see a, a huge throw in the next eight minutes just to get the Viaduct game going. No, oh, Uncle comes back in. Oh man, that is the deadest demo you ever saw. I'm really surprised it took so long. And actually, he got he got more important picks uh, on the front end there with the crits, but uh, I didn't see it. The plays, all the plays. Deadshot is the only one capping. While uh, Blue Team, they're willing to go. They want they want to push it down. They actually want to make this a game. Wow, this is a this is a game. Now souping up happens and it looks like they're okay. Someone making fun of the dispenser pick things. And uh Yeah, I think uh I think everyone just said, hey, let's not actually throw this game anymore. Let's uh let's play normal. I have my metagun, that's uh my Mark 1 metagun. Crit uh taunting, dying while taunting, of course the best of ways to die. And the Conqueror play comes out, there was nobody here. He will secure the mid area, which is real good. And yeah, I think this is a pretty fast recap here. Oh, who's on the point? Who's on the point? Who's on the point? Who's on the point? I missed it. I was the spy who's actually not here anymore. Anyway, we got a, a rage up here on the point. Meat stack coming behind him. And Jinji, oh, he gets spotted out. I'm not sure how he saw him, but he does catch him. And he gets an engineer as well for his trouble. So that is a. Uh, you know, super craziness going on there. Spot, uh, Scout in the background trying to cap. So well a few other people. They're going to go back for him. No, no, they're going straight ahead. My bad. Soldier right here uh, misses, his hit, misses his bomb, uh, unfortunately, which means that Snook will have a huge uber advantage. And blue team, you got to get back out of there. This is, uh, the race is on. Who's in the back to stop this? Nobody. In fact, Deadshot's going to get, well, Deadshot's here to stop a heavy push. Doesn't get it. That's funny. I think this is a. I think despite being down on players, they get the 0 3. 
And good rounds come out. Boo and oh three. Is that the half? No, it's just the round. I think the half might be four. We'll see. The USSR, like just wait. I don't think blue team's taken in it a single round so far. In both either Lakeside or this. So it might just be a quick 2-0, we'll see. Demo moves forward, aggressive move, uh, move here, along with this one. Maybe this isn't aggressive. No, this is safe, I think. No, safe is the other way. Both teams going aggressive side. Safe side is your left side, aggressive side is your right side, and both teams have gone aggressive side every time, which is uh, strange. Red team gets it. Uh, they take actually three free picks here. Make it four. This fire is good as dead. It does get cleaned out, so. Five to not four to nothing there on that on that first engagement and uh, oh we got lasers. No, we don't have them anymore. Just got a got a, a six snipe out there from Epic, making it happen for them again. Losing their pyro, going for that demo, not able to get him. Sponge finds dust uh, finds uh, Genji though, so no heavy for a while and five minutes left. This is uh, what can you do at this point? I think demo is just going crazy. Looks like it's just a. Uh, it's like officially devolved into fun mode now. Oh, jumped right on the stick there, bro. Soldier uh, gets the cleanup, but it's a little bit too late. Are we gonna get a med? Easy med pick. Easy med pick. Easy med pick. Time has been added. You're still in this crit screen, which is strange. <laughs> this phlogistinator play just got three kills. That's that's incredible. Time Your team pushing back out, showing that uh, you know, that pyro does mean a lot. Oh, red's coming around though. Coming around the backside. We're gonna race this. And why not? I mean, you're up three rounds. You can't lose as many rounds as there are minutes left in the game, right? Right. Famous last words. You gets taken out again. A Natasha? This is strange. Oh, Sponge. He wants it. Oh, you should have seen the direct. Oh, you should have seen it. <laughs> you should have seen the minigun. The mini he should have known the mini sentry was there. He'd been sitting there for like a minute or so. That was like the farthest, I think, uh, a demoman ever flew after being hit by, net, by an engineer fist. That flew forever. Media poppin'. The meat stack gets stabbed. Man, they gotta do a better job of protecting their heavy. Not good for them. And uh, none of my buttons are working anymore for some crazy reason. Okay, there we go. Oh, they're all dead. That's why. This red team just completely capitulated. Like, amazingly, Snook is getting out of this alive. He's been surviving every, like, engagement. Note down, as they say. Jinji, moving back out here. But is there really any hope left? Well, this, this Snook is like, I don't know how he got there. I don't want to know how. I don't want to know how he got there. That's just not where you want to be right now. Oh, hit the shot. Hit it. Oh my goodness, he hits a spy instead. And he gets cleaned out for it. It's still like a blues, blues favorite numbers, but I feel like they're just not... They don't have the push potential that the other guys do. Three minutes remaining. And they have to capture like three times as many points to win. Things are fairly safe, right? Sniper battle going Arch's way. Using that Huntsman, making him feel humiliated. Ha, oh, you got the demo. You meant to get the heavy. Ugh, he is waiting at last, that's funny. And you know what? I bet no one's going to be there to stop him. So, okay, well at this point, this makes no sense, but if they were capturing the second point, it wouldn't be bad. It's just bad, like, right now. <laughs> Blue team's gonna get back this midpoint. What's he gonna do then? Are they? Man, this med, like, wants it. Well, they're, like, coming around... They're just, like, pushing down the wrong point right now for some strange reason? I don't know. <laughs> Not able to win up this 8v9 quite yet. Uh, they should capture the point. I think that would be a good thing for them. You crashes forward. They're not going to look behind them, though. The spy's going to make the pick. Oh, he makes the shot instead. And the Kritzkrieg uh, Phlogistinator is actually not that bad. <laughs> uh -huh. 
weekend. The Flodge plays. The Flodge spawn camp. You can't go back to spawn now. What do you do? What do you do? Mary will get the health back. Come forward. Double jump. Trying for some play. Ooh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. <laughs> Fake out. Jump forward. Oh, the heavy there. Can't jump forward now. It's too bad. Well, I get to take out. Oh! Right in the face. Well, it was more like in the back. He wasn't quite facing him. Oh, who wins out? Conqueror or Phlogistinator? No one, because uh, game's over. Game's over and I get to yell at people. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Red Team won. So, GG. Thanks for game. I'm Turbo Cop, and I'll see you all for the next one.